Visual Basic 2010 Microsoft Visual Basic is a Windows-based programming language. It is derived from a user-friendly basic programming language designed for beginners by Microsoft. BASIC stands for Beginners All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. The program code in Visual Basic resembles the English language. It provides an easy platform to learn event-driven programming. Visual Basic is an object-oriented programming language which is based on Graphical User Interface or GUI. In Visual Basic, you just need to drag and drop any graphical object anywhere on the form and create software interface and codes in an easy-to-use graphical environment. VB2010 is the version of Visual Basic launched by Microsoft in the year 2010. Event-Driven Programming Visual Basic is an event-driven programming language. An event refers to the occurrence of an activity. Events can be triggered by the user's actions like mouse click, key press or mouse movement. The sequence of these events executes a particular block of code and then the program behaves in a certain way and gives a defined output. Source code written in a Visual Basic application is divided into smaller blocks called procedures. An event-driven procedure contains code that is executed when an event occurs. Programming modes in VB To design and run an application or program, a Visual Basic program has following three basic modes. Design mode in this mode, the programmers create objects, design forms, add controls, write logical codes and statements for the application, and use the Properties window to set or view property settings. Run mode. In this mode, user can fire the events and execute the code of written programming. The application will perform the task for which it is designed. Break mode. If the application generates errors or does not give the desired result, we can halt the execution to modify the data, analyze the problem and remove the errors. Starting Visual Basic IDE VB IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, is an integrated designing and debugging environment used for developing software using Visual Basic. Here we are using Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. To open Visual Basic IDE, click on Start button, go to All Programs and select Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. Visual Basic IDE will open up and Start screen of IDE will appear. Components of VB IDE In the IDE mode, the programmers create objects, design forms, add controls, write logical codes and statements for the application and use the Properties window to set or view property settings. The main components of IDE and their actions are Title Bar Displays the title of the project in which you are working. Menu Bar Displays menu items to perform various tasks, example, file, edit, view, etc. Tool Bar Displays command icons for commonly used tasks. These icons act as shortcuts to the options available in the menu bar. Form Form is an interface using which a user interacts with the application. You can add labels, command buttons, text boxes, graphics, pictures, etc. to design the interface of the application. Form window will provide you with blank form which can be used to place labels, command buttons,
text boxes, graphics, pictures, etc. Solution Explorer This window lists the forms and modules in the current project or application. It will appear as a tree structure. To open any object, just double click it. Properties window it is used to set the properties of the control like forms, labels, etc. That is size, caption or color, etc. Toolbox provides a set of tools which can place controls like text box, label, command button, etc. on a form during designing phase. These controls can be placed on the form by simply dragging them into the form. Code window. Code window is used to write codes for the object. Just double click on the object on the form. The editor window will open where you can write visual basic statements. Creating a new project. For creating a new project, select file menu on the menu bar. Then click new project option. The VB New Project dialog box will appear. The dialog box offers five types of projects that you can create under Templates. Select Windows Forms Application from Visual Studio Install Templates to create a Windows application. Now change the default project name to any other name in the Name text box and click OK button to continue after renaming. The VB IDE with a new project will appear. Adding a new form. When you start a new project in Visual Basic, a blank form appears within the project. You also need to add some more forms for your project. To add more forms, click on Add New Item on the toolbar or select Project and then Add Windows Form on the menu bar. The Add New Item dialog box appears. Select Windows Form and click on Add. A new form gets added to the project. Now you can add more objects in this form. Commonly used controls A form is useless without controls. A control is an object that is placed on a form to get input and display output. In Visual Basic, every control is associated with some properties, events and methods. Properties They are the attributes of a control which can be set during design time or through coding. Events These are messages sent by an object or control indicating that something has happened. Methods. These are the actions performed on the form or object. There are numerous controls available in Visual Basic. The three mainly used controls are Label, Text Box and Button. Label is used to display a text on the form which can be changed during runtime. Text Box is used to accept input from the user during runtime. Input can be text as well as number. Button is a main control of a form. It is used to perform an action when clicked by the user. Adding controls to the form. Form acts as a container for controls. To add controls in your already created form, first select the required control from the toolbox. For example, Select text box. The mouse pointer changes to cross symbol. Now, place the mouse pointer at the desired location on the form and drag the pointer to draw the control. The text box will appear on the screen. Now you can type the text in the box. Likewise, we can also add more controls in the form. For example, adding a button in the form. Setting Properties of Controls in Properties window There are various properties of controls. You can set the properties of a control during design time through the Properties pane. 
To set the properties of controls, select the control on the form of which you want to change the property. For example, select button 1. Click on desired property in the properties pane. For example, change the property text to click. On the form, click will appear on the button, button 1. Setting properties of controls in the code window. You can change the property of a control during runtime. To set the properties of control in the code window, first add a control on the form if not added. Next, double click on the added control to open the code window. Type the statements in the corresponding event procedure which is automatically created. Let us understand this with an example. Create a button to print Welcome to Weeby. First, add a button to the form. Next, double click on the added button, that is, button 1. The code window opens up with some pre written lines of code, which is the click event for the button 1. Type the following code in bold letters between the pre written event code as shown here. Button 1 is the name of button control and the text will set the text of the button as Welcome to Weeby. Now debug the project using Start Debugging button or press F5. Your project will run. Click on the button 1 to see the change in button's text. Code for an event Design a form in Visual Basic for calculating the sum of two numbers and display the result using suitable controls. To complete this form, follow these steps. Open Visual Basic and create a new Windows Forms application project. A blank Form 1 will open. We have to create a form for adding two numbers. So we need three labels three text boxes and a button on the form. Add all the components in the form. Two labels per two values, one label for sum, button to calculate sum and text open to display value of two numbers and sum. Set the properties of each control. First label, name, label 1, text Enter the first number. Second label. Name label 2. Text. Enter the second value. Third label. Name label 3. Text. Sum of given numbers. Button. Name button 1. Text. Calculate. First text box. Name text box 1. Second text box. Name text box 2, third text box, name text box 3. Some properties of the controls have already been set by VB. If they are not set, they can be set by using the table. The inputs for the text boxes will be provided by the user at runtime. Now, write the procedure for the click event of the button 1. Double click on the button 1 control. Code window will open displaying the procedure. Button 1 is the name of the control and click is the event used for triggering the action. Type the following statements in the click event of the button. By default, the contents of text box are taken as string. The value function converts the string input taken in the text box to a number. Close the code window. Executing or debugging a project. Visual Basic provides us three different ways to execute a project. Press F5 function key from the keyboard. Click on the Start Debugging icon from the toolbar. Click on menu bar, select debug and click on start debugging. 
When a project runs, the form gets displayed on the screen. In the example project, enter two numbers in two text boxes and click Calculate button. The result will be displayed in text box 3. Saving a VB project. To save a VB project, click on File and choose Save Form 1 VB. Save File as dialog box will appear to save the project file. Choose the location where you want to save it. Change the name of project if you want and click on Save button. The project will be saved with the changed name if given a new name. Opening an existing project. To open a saved VB project, click on File and select Open Project. In Open Project dialog box, select the required project and click on Open.